all right you all come to the last part of the video now we are going to apply the um the load due to the um due to the soil so in this case the load will not be applied from inside it will be applied from outside all right the load will be applied from outside so um to do that we can see the first one is the um the dead load due to the soil on plate one so let's select the plate one because we will still be using the hydrostatic load so let me just put this in the um, the side view and then I select plate one okay just like that and then you go to view selected only so now I'm going to apply in the other way around so you go to um, dead load due to soil on plate one then you say add you go to um, plate load you go to hydrostatic load then you select the plates which is all of these plates and then click on done now we can have the value the value will be negative obviously because the load is now coming from the outside if you remember the other the other time it was positive but if you are confused you can always check the orientation of the plates so um the load now will be the unit weight of soil that is 18 kilonewton per meter cube and then we said multiply by one meter length you know so that should be 18 kilonewton per meter squared so that means we are applying 18 all through so this should be minus 18 it will still be it is because this is a triangular load that is why i'm using the hydrostatic load okay so uh, make sure this is interpolating along the y and this is in local z so click on add then you can close that so let's see the old view and then let me try to see it in the side view so i'll click on the load for example this so so you can see that the load is applying from outside and not from inside okay so this is the load due to the so it is applying from outside this is applied from outside so i'm going to um, select the other plates So to go to the next one that is plate two so i can select plate two this is plate two all right this is plate two that's a plate at the back and then you can view it alone so that it can be easy when you want to select then you go to soil on plate two click on add go to plate load then you go to hydrostatic load select the plate this is the plate click on done and then here we are we will have 18 and not minus 18 let this be y look how z add that and then you close this then we can move to the next one which will be plate 3 plate 3 so let me show all okay this other face is plate 3 so let me put this in front view and then i select plate 3 no plate 3 then you can view it alone then um, then we had load under it let's define the load you go to plate load hydrostatic load select the plates which is all of these plates click on done and then here we have minus 18 one more time let this be y and then click on add then you close that you can always confirm your orientation to know which one to know maybe it is negative or positive okay so don't get that confused and then we go to plate 4 and put it in front view again and then i select plate 4 now plate 4 should be positive all right so let me view that alone and then you go to plate 4 you add load you go to plate load hydrostatic load select splits so select all of these plates then click on done and then here i'm going to have a positive which is 18 make you can save make sure this is interpolated along y and then you click on add then you close um, 
that is very good and then for the last time we are going to apply a, a dead load to the last plate here i'm going to apply a dead load due to you know plates so i'll apply udl so add and then go to plate load so pressure on full plates and i will add minus 18 in local z then you click on add then let's close that now we can put this in front view select the load select the load and then select the plate which is this bottom plate then you can apply the load to selected plates then click on assign yes then you can see the load is applied from bottom so just like that so we are done applying all of the loads and then i think we are okay there is the self weight which we haven't applied the self weight which is this one is the only one we haven't assigned so we are going to assign this to view and then click on assign yes so every other load have been assigned every other load have been assigned so the next thing now is to do the analysis so let me close this but before you do the analysis you go to analysis and print and then just click on um, add then you can close this so if that is done then you can go to analyze then you click on run analysis okay you can see this is done we have zero error zero warning zero notes so you can go to the post processing just click on done so now that you're in post processing you can go to um results then you go to um select load case okay and then you can come to envelope one okay you can see this is envelope one then you click on um apply and then okay so you can check um your plate stress for example and then let's check for um maximum absolute and then click on ok then you can see this is um what you have in as much uh, as the first envelope is concerned you can also check for another envelope you go to um, select case check for envelope 2 you see this is the one that will be selected alone so click on apply and then you click on ok then you can also go back to check your um you know your plate stress so um you know just check on let's say an answer for you and then apply then okay so um this is the second one you may not know the difference in the color but there will definitely be um a difference in the value you have at the legion here so you check that out so this is how you analyze a reinforced concrete underground tank using start pro if you like this video make sure you give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed you need to be a subscriber so just click on the subscribe button you can also hit the bell icon to see my notifications whenever i post a new video thanks for watching